Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, uh, we heard a week or so ago that um, Donna, or D Dear Looper, Dale Looper, Dale Looper, I can't pronounce her name. Oh, let me keep screwing that up. Um, wanted to work with Madonna. I'll just avoid mentioning her name. Um, and I didn't think much about it at the time because I thought, well, if, you know, plenty of people want to work with their idols or other musicians, doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. Um, I didn't pay much attention to it. And then I heard just the other day that she's actually doing a remix with Madonna. The, um, Madonna is um, Madonna and Missy Elliott are both appearing on, I think appearing on, not actually working on, um, a remix of her song um, Levitation, which is the fifth single from her album Future Nostalgia. Um, she had said that, I think the song, I think there's an album track called Future Nostalgia that she was saying um, was Madonna somehow inspired that. It's a very pop a retro pop song or something, I haven't heard it. Um, and she was talking about that, and then she was saying she wanted to work with her, and then there was a bit of um, bit of, bit of talk here and there, and people thought maybe something was going to happen, and then and people were hoping for a real collaboration, I think, an actual song between the two of them. I'm so close. Um, <laughs> and we're not really getting that, because um, I, I, I didn't want to get excited, because I'm like, okay, it's a remix, um, how much can they do on a remix? What is she going to do? Is she just, what is she going to add? Um, they're not going to re redo lyrics or have her do someone else's part or something. What, like, what is she going to do? Um, now it's being um, remixed by the black, the the blessed Madonna or the Black Madonna. Um, I don't know much about them either. I've heard of them, but I have no idea. Um, so yeah, and one of the sound producers, some one of the I think the vocal producers or sound producers from um, Madame X is going to be working on it as well. So, and apparently it's an all-girl team. So you know, yay! But um, yeah, I'm just I'm not really feeling it. I'm like, okay, how much can they do on a remix? Um, it'll be cool because I'm just thinking when Missy remixed American Life, she added quite a bit to it. So maybe they're going to do that. Maybe they were actually sort of. Do the, like sort of take it over and do their own little song um, within the remix, and it might actually be really interesting. But it could also be just a couple of hey's and yeah, little comments, like little little things just inserted all over the place, just to say hey, we're here, we we we, we appeared on the track, <laughs> and that's sort of it. Because um, I'm not really that inspired by remixes lately. I've seen a lot of remixes. I mean, I've seen a lot of remixes. A lot of remixes that I've, I've heard of songs in the last couple of years, I haven't really been impressed by anything. Once upon a time, the idea was to take songs that weren't really danceable and then make a dance mix. So then you could do that. Now everything's remixed and a lot of it just sounds the same. And it's just, it's very, um, very mechanical. So I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not feeling inspired, but I think it's good to have low expectations because then I'll be if it's actually good, if they actually really do something um, and add something to the song, um, then there'll be something to be excited about. Otherwise, I won't be disappointed when all it is is a couple of little noises here and there just to say, hey, we're here on the track doing this, we were remixing it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, oh, there's really not much else, because the other thing I was thinking, oh, yay, that there's going to be a new song, with, you know, um, may, maybe I'll, I'll do a video on that. And then I'm like, looking at the articles, I'm like, there's nothing except it's been announced for um, August 14, um, that Remix is coming out August 5th, uh, 14, um, and I actually thought it was a newer album of hers, I didn't realise it's actually an old album, it's the fifth single, um, so, because I don't really care much about it, I wasn't really impressed, I didn't find her screen persona very magnif magnetic or anything, um, and when I saw... Um, how is it? Is it Dua Lipa? Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa? I can't pronounce her name. I, I, I hear it and then I forget it. Um, and when I read it, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, I don't know. I'm dyslexic or something. So um, I saw her at Mardi Gras and she was really bland and really flat and didn't make any effort. She just stood on the stage. She did change costume once and she didn't do anything. The other performers, they used... Um, all three sides of the stage, they really put on a show. She just sort of stood there like, 
yeah, I'm here because I'm famous and important and I don't have to do much. That was sort of the attitude. I'm like, that's not very interesting to me artistically or um, <laughs> in any other way. So I wasn't really excited about them doing a song together, although Madonna probably would stand out over her in anything they did, so it probably would be good for Madonna, actually. Um, and there's the whole relevance argument. People are always saying Madonna's not relevant, and you're not relevant unless you're the current number one star or you're collaborating with the current number one star, which she's doing, So, and she's always done that. Even if she wasn't at the top in the moment, she was always dealing with the people who were, so that's good as well. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go. There's not much else to say about Madonna or what's happening in Madonna Town lately. Um, she did post a kind of sad um, meme the other day. I, f I felt sad about it. She posted a couple of shots, like a gif or something from um, Sorry, and she was saying how basically how sad she is that she can't dance and she's not the dancing queen anymore and she can't wait to be walking and dancing again um, or can walk without pain or without crutches or whatever and I just the reality that my queen is lame and can't dance it's just um it's very sad and I'm just like is this going to be like a long term problem like is she going to deal with this um, in a sort of timely fashion or um like she's sort of undergoing this sounds like experimental sort of treatment I'm like is that because it was kind of hopeless or is like I didn't really think about it. I sort of because she was doing a tour she injured herself on the tour the doctors said to stop but she didn't she kept going and cancelling half the shows but um I just assumed you know she was just pushing on and should have taken a break but would be okay it didn't really occur to me till just now that she may not actually recover full like you know Madonna level use of her um, knee again what would happen if, if Madonna couldn't like some people saying oh will she ever tour again I sort of thought well probably not because the last tour was a bit of a disaster and she just doesn't thanks to ageism I'm not blaming her for this she's a great artist um, and assuming her knee works she's a great performer but there's a lot of ageism and she's just like why would an investor um, or a studio or a touring company or whoever pays for the, the tours put Madonna on stage when they can put a younger artist on stage that has... It's, it's just sort of the way it's going. And I sort of thought she probably won't tour again unless she can get certain stipulations met and I'm not sure she can command as much um, power as she used to. So I'm not... I was thinking it probably won't happen more creative-wise if she can't get the money... Um, and support to do the show the way she wants, she probably wouldn't do it. Um, but now I'm wondering if she'll be able to do it if this leg thing continues, because that post didn't sound like I'm winning, I'm defiant, I'm beating this. It sort of sounded like I'm mourning my my, my past days as a dancing diva. But um, maybe I just met, misread it. Maybe it's just, you know, the COVID world, you know, the, the, the corona zone just being here, it's just everything seems negative and... I don't know. But um, I'm going to go. I've talked way longer than I planned to about this. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the remix. Uh, I, I'm just thinking back to those Missy Elliott American Life um, remixes and thinking, actually, she could probably do a lot with it. I do like them. Sometimes I listen to them just because I want to listen to the Missy bits. So it could be. But I'm not getting my hopes up because, um, yeah, I'm just not going to. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, if you know anything about it, let me know. Um, and yeah, let's hope it does well. I mean, it'd be great if there was some sort of remix video or something that they were involved in. That would be awesome as well. But considering Corona's hurting any active productions, and that would sort of not be normal to do a video for a remix of a single. But if they release it, I'll just wait. If it's a proper single and a remix of the single, and they do a video for the single, they could bring them in. Oh, yeah, that could happen, in theory. Cor you know, corona um, allowing. But, um, yeah, I'm actually going to go this time. See so, yeah, bye.